Very much. Welcome back to the Witcher Free Wild Hunt. I'm gonna go help Siri instead of killing Radovid right now. My reasoning is that I want to see what happens if I don't kill Radovid at the end. And for to have access to the end, I need to do all these quests. So that's the the just the easier for me. My main choice, obviously, will be to help uh, kill Radovid. That's my cannon path. That's my decision already made right there. Because he's a prick. He's a murderous prick. He'll kill thousands upon thousands of people. Anyway, I'll help Siri with her business. Looking for something in particular? Um, a pretty little trinket. Want to give someone a present? When I was last in Novigrad, I had my share of troubles. So I heard. A few people helped me then. Others, not so much. Now I mean to repay them both. Coming with? Lead the way. We'll start with the bits. Who are we gonna visit? You'll see. Almost there. Where are we going, exactly? To see Horson Jr. Wrong direction. Horson's headquartered on Temple Isle. So I thought. But I think we should check something first. Zoltan claims the word in town is we're more likely to run into Horson around here. Oh, damnation! Uh, why are you doing this again? I want to look him in the eyes. What then? I don't know. Depends what I see. Get out of here. <laughs> Not what I thought I'd find. Orson Jr. wasn't a pious man. But there came a moment when he prayed to all the gods at once. For his life, since the gods disliked Junior, they granted his prayer. Years later, he had just one regret, that at the moment in question, he hadn't surrendered to death, for he had had the courage then to do so, courage he would never have again. So there is justice in this world. Come, let's see. Oh, who's there? Remember me? You, you can. You little ass fucked whore. You, you pay for what you did to me. I'd watch your words if I were you. Witcher! It's all your fault. Happy, you cocksucker. I've naught left. Not a bloody scrap. Human dignity left. No! Oh, little shit! On the way here, I didn't know what I'd do. Killing him was definitely an option. Still want to? No. This is worse. Let's go. We've done the hardest part. Only the pleasant bits left now. Where are we going? The Golden Sturgeon. A girl who works there helped me. Are you a wizard? This girl we're going to see. Who is she again? A friend of Dandelion's. Her name's Bee. She's a waitress at the Golden Sturgeon. Help me contact Dandelion. I wish to thank her. She risked a lot. Risked a lot? How's that? The Temple Guard were breathing down my neck. If she'd been seen with me, she might have been flogged or worse. Always getting into trouble. I take after you. Gave you 
your chance. Should have taken it. I spit on anything you give me. You'll regret that, you cow. Mind your manners, you're talking to a lady. Stay out of this. This is not your concern. Sure it is. You're a fucking freak too. He is. Very dangerous at that. The butcher of White Orchard. What'd he do there? Trim the trees? Eugen. He slew half the village. Dragged the bodies of the alderman and his wife behind his horse to Novigrad. Let's get out of here. That's pretty good advice your friend's offering. S -s -s sorry <sighs> Thank you. I seem more determined this time. You shouldn't cross them, I told you. I'm to bar non-humans from this establishment because some thugs threaten me. Not likely. It's so good to see you, B. And you, Siri. Who's your charming companion? Geralt of Rivia. <gasps> that Geralt! <laughs> Very nice to meet you. I've heard so much. Really? What, for example? For example, how you've saved her from woes so many times she's lost count. And how you always know how to make her laugh. That's Siri, of course. Other ladies, however. B, I'm standing right here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, what brings you here, darlings? I wanted to thank you for everything. Oh, stop. Anyone would have done the same in my shoes. Not many would have done it with such courage. Thank you. This is for you. A trinket to remember me by. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Thank you. So, will you stay for stew? And keep slaughtered a piglet this morning? Thanks. But we must still visit Far Corners. Ah, off to see Valdo, eh? Well, shan't stop you then. They'll feed you properly there too, no doubt. Farewell to you both. And do take care of our witcher. I will. So long. Bravo, witcher! I've material for another battle. So, uh, your friend, B. What about her? Nothing. Seems nice. Geralt, you're terrible. what I say? What's there to see in far corners? The camp of some traveling circus performers. Non-humans. When I came here before, I wanted to contact Triss. Life was hard. I quickly spent nearly everything the Baron gave me. Triss and I never met, because the Temple Guard showed up. I was a wanted woman afterwards. Triss didn't try to contact you? How could she? She didn't know anything. In fact, she thought she was to meet another alchemist wanting to flee Novigrad. I preferred not to put her in danger. I was being hunted. Had not a copper to my name. Then I met Valdo. He and his troop helped me. Then introduced me to B. And through B, I found Dandelion. Where's this friend of yours? Siri, hmm. yes. you devil incarnate, where have you been? Come here, darling. Hello? What's this? Brought your granddad? Agar, you're incorrigible. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia. Ah, greetings. We've heard heaps about you. Mostly lies, I bet. Ah, if it's a lie that since her youngest years you've been her friend and mentor, then indeed. She is a bold-faced liar. Well, good you're here. Come in the nick of time. Would have been gone by tomorrow. You're leaving? Better start resettling non-humans shortly. We'd rather stay ahead of events. I understand. Problem is, we just lost two horses, and another two are too weak to haul anything. Ah, we'll manage somehow. We don't leave till tomorrow, so naught to worry about today. Yes, for some. I'm off to see a merchant. There's a chance I can trade our nags for a healthy horse. Wouldn't want Valdo to have anything to worry about tomorrow. Hmm. Any way we can help? Oh, don't fret about us. We always get by somehow. Right, Siri? 
What brings you here? I've come to apologize. I disappeared so suddenly, then... Ah, oh, pish posh. What matters is you're back, and you're well. This is for you. All that you loan me, plus a small premium. Siri, you know I can't take this. And you know I shan't let you refuse. Hmm. I know. We'll make it the pot for a wager. <laughs> Do you still race? Of course. Then I challenge you. Geralt, will you join us? Gladly. A man after my own spirit. <laughs> Come. Geralt, choose one of these. Coming, coming. You were faster once! Giving you a head start! Hmm. You're trailing. Watch where you're going or you'll fall. Ah! Can still beat you. I let you win. Lovely race. Well, this calls for a celebration. Stay the evening. We've several barrels of Kedwin's best. Bonfires to be lit soon round which all will gather. This night shall be ours. More wine? Thanks. I'm glad we stayed. Me too. They like you here. I like them too. Uh, I'd love to join them. Drink and race, travel from town to town. Not worry a whit about anything. Something worrying you now? <sighs> what awaits us? Defeating the hunt won't be easy, but with the Lodge's support, Avalax, we can do this. I fear fighting the hunt will only be the beginning, for me at least. What do you mean? <laughs> you promised! <laughs> In jest? Sometimes I wish I could be like them. Me too. Being a witch is a burden sometimes. As is my inheritance. I'd so like to be ordinary. Problem is, you're not. You were born to greatness. As I've been hearing since I was born. All because of this damned elder blood. My gift. My curse. Granted me all of these powers, but it's also why I've spent my life fleeing, hiding. Then it's time to end this. Once we defeat Eredin, you'll be free. Really? Eredin's hardly alone. There are others. They have plans for me. It was the sorceresses of the Lodge once. Now it's my father. Even Yennefer. You're forgetting Avalach. Avalach's different. He is intent on my gift not falling into the wrong hands, not spinning out of control. It's why he teaches me, protects me. If you say so... You doubt it? There'll come a day when Avalok will ask you for a favor. Perhaps. But if so, it will be a very, very long time from now. And I'm certain, whatever it is, he'll give me a choice. 
I will have the option to refuse. Hope you're right. That's Pablo. I plan to learn how to juggle one day. Incredibly useful skill. Finally found you two. Enjoying yourselves? I'd rather know how you fared with the merchant. Managed to get some horses? <laughs> Lost cause. The man refused to trade. I said I'd buy. He asked three arms and a host of legs for one healthy animal. We need horses. But we'll have to find another way to get them. Ho, ho, I sense trouble. I knew you'd warm to the notion. We mean to sneak into the man's stable. With 30 head, a few more or less won't make a difference in his life. Coming with? Of course. Gotta be another way to solve this. It just so happens I got some coin I could lend you. We'd have no way to repay you. Wouldn't have to. Shame the Emperor doesn't have another daughter. We could buy all the horses in Novigrad. A generous offer, but not one to resolve this situation. The merchant didn't object to our coin. He objected to us. I'll not trade with such scum. Believe those were his words. And if he'll not trade, we've no choice but to steal from him. Uh, what can I do? Gotta help those in need. Yes, yes, yes! Must say, you didn't seem the type to me. What type? Steady. Time to go. We'll meet by the stables. Hagar, keep a lookout. Siri and I'll try to get inside. All right. Locked. Gotta find another way in. the key. Quick, get in here. Gotta calm all the horses before they wake the guards. That beat me a pass. Finally! Did you see the two fools who tried to chase us? Almost tripped over their own boots. <laughs> Thanks, Geralt. That was splendid. Yeah, a nice change from killing monsters. Thanks for your help, and for visiting. It was so good to see you all again. Hang in there, and take care of yourselves. Don't forget us. So long. I must bid Valzo farewell. All right. 
See you at Dandelions, then. Got some things to take care of in town. See you, Geralt. A killer prowls the city, but you're not scared. Yolo was a magician, an illusionist. He would always perform in a mask. His choice... Well, Christine here on Serious Gaming, signing out. Yeah, it was wrong, I guess. To a certain degree. <laughs> Stealing from that guy. But hey, he was offered coin. He refused because he's a racist. That's when you lose a great deal of sympathy for someone. Right. I guess I'll deal with Avalok next. Costine here on Serious Gaming, signing out.